Hey guys, how you doing? Um, it's a very sad day today for me, man. Um, um, I'm gonna actually show you what happened. But my 2019 GMC Canyon, you know, I pushed the Honda, I pushed the Ford F-150, I pushed the Toyota aside, and I was so happy buying, you know, my first GMC vehicle. I was like, wow, let me try. I heard so many good things about GMC, you know, and um. I bought I bought my vehicle almost like brand new. Um I believe I bought it in maybe 2020 was it or 2019, June 2019 or June 2020. And I was so happy, man, you know, I I of course I hooked it up, I added the the right things to it and all that like the Denali and then you know, today out of nowhere my my blind and autistic son um, noticed that the fans were like high where normally my radiator fans you don't really hear them things but we were parking into the house after coming from the mall and he heard the fans and I didn't think nothing of it and then when I showed up the truck I hear that the fans is going I go hmm I'm like this never happened I've never heard those fans you know going that hard so I didn't pay mind to it you know but I go I open the hood thank god that I opened the hood and I see that the reservoir, radiator reservoir, is empty. And I go, how can this be? I'm always checking this thing. How can this thing be? I'm like, no, something weird. What is going on, man? And thinking nothing of it. You know, I just opened the truck. I go, where's, is it leaking somewhere? You know, I'm not like a mechanic like that, but it's a leaking. And I'm like, I look outside underneath. I see nothing. I look inside and... I see that the floor mats are like moist. So I touch it and I my hands got soaked with radiator fluid. So all the radiator fluid, I don't know where it came from inside the cabin and it was it's like under under the under the floor mats. It's 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 full. It like it went under from behind the top top floor mat and 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 it was so much I guess the whole engine went in, went in there. And that it was like seeping through the floor mat the top and it's so both the ones you're able to to take out you know and, and the actual one that you can't take out and as soon as you touch it your hand just gets soaked so all of it is in there maybe corroding the the the, the wires and stuff i don't know i know that them wires are probably soaked and I'm stressed out. I, I, I can't blame GNC for nothing, you know, because it just happened. It's the weekend. So now I got to wait till Monday to I could get it to a dealer and I'm going to have to miss a day of work, you know. And, and, and it's just I'm just in awe because it's like, wow, 28,000 miles. I don't ride that truck hard, you know, at, at the age I'm in, you know, I take care of my vehicles. And for this to happen to me, it's just stressing, man, because I, I, I relied on this truck. I was like, wow, you know, GMC, I love it. First time trying GMC and I trusted it. And it's like, I feel it let me down. But let me show you a little bit of the video uh, that I recorded. I didn't record too much. Um, but it's just sad. Let's see what happens Monday if they get me a loaner. Um, now that vehicle is probably going to always smell of, of, of coolant inside. Uh, who knows what other issues I'm going to have down the line since, you know, coolant going into the, the wires and the sockets. That's not good. And I'm hoping that they're not just going to, oh, we'll wash it. It's good. And boop. And then down the line, when it's out of warranty, I have I have issues with it. So I'm just hoping GMC, if you get to watch this video, please, man, make it right, man. You know how things work, how electrical works. Please, if you know you can't clean it right, then do something else. Don't just give me the vehicle back if you know it's going to cost me problems down the line. If it's going to if it's gonna stink like radiator fluid and all this. Please, man. I trust that you guys with this truck. Please do do right by me, man. And um, I'm, I'm going to give you guys, my followers, uh, a follow-up video on what happened with this. I hope that that they take care of me man but you know may god bless everybody guys check out the video now um i just recorded a little bit because my head is so messed up right now i don't know what to do because i gotta miss work and and all that i don't know why issues are gonna come out on monday if they're gonna give me a new a vehicle to to go to work or what but you know stay tuned for the second video guys god bless y'all all right so this is my brand new canyon for some reason i don't know from where 
doesn't seem from there, but it's leaking all the, look, through the bottom. It's leaking all the antifreeze. See how the bottom, look at that. So it's from somewhere in there. See, but it's not through there, it's falling down here and it's full of it, the whole thing. So it's gonna cause, this is not good. So I need to take it to the dealer ASAP, all of it. It went through the bottom rug and through this one right here. Look, cause I noticed that it was like, that my antifreeze was empty and the car, the fan was blowing hard. And my son was like, yo, that fan is blow." Yep. So see even over there. So look at it. All my antifreeze is leaking from in there. So this vehicle is messed up. So this is 2019 GMC Canyon guys. We're going to have to take it to the, to the dealer 20 28,000 miles only on this truck oh lord gmc why you always gotta give me i gotta i gotta ride out down south soon and now you're giving me this trouble with that anti anti-freeze leaking all over the truck brand new truck twenty eight thousand miles now on it ah <sighs>